Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast. In this video I'm just going to be talking about video converters for the Mac because lately I've been getting a lot of um, messages in my inbox and a lot of comments on basically video converters, video encoders. So what I would, if you remember a bit back actually, I did a video on an application called Video Monkey which was a free application, free video encoder for the Mac and it was really good it really good because it was pretty quick it encoding and it was really good for encoding video files to play on the iPod or the iPhone but it wasn't the most feature rich application you know it, it was quite limited and even though it was a decent little application I thought I would share today share with you my favorite video uh, encoders on the Mac and um, they're both free and they're a little bit more um, you know, got more features than Video Monkey. So the first one, probably my favourite, MPEG Stream Clip, and it's a free application. As I've as I just uh, mentioned, all you do is you get your video file, drop it into the middle, let it load up. As you can see, it's loaded up. You can play it from here by just pressing play, and so on. Um, this this um, video encoder has got some some advanced features and that but I'm just going to go keep to the basics of simply encoding the video as you can see it's an AVI file and all I would do then is go to file and I can choose to export it export it to QuickTime to DV, AVI obviously it's already AVI um, MPEG4 export the audio this is a bit better here other formats gives you a bit more features and you can see here you can um, export it for iPhone or um, win, even Windows Media. If you want to export it to Windows Media, you're going to have to get a plugin. Um, what plugin is it now? I forgot. Go to my preferences. Yeah, if you want um, to do WMV, you'd have to download the Flip for Mac plugin. It's free and it allows um, MPEG Stream Clip to uh, convert to WMV if that's what you want to do. But as you can see, it's got some presets and that you know iPhone, Apple TV and so on and you can alter resolution, frame size and so on quality as you get the picture and all you would do then is when you're happy with all the settings you just click OK and it converts really fast I find it to be pretty good at the job I don't have too many problems so that is one converter I'm going to recommend to you so MPEG Stream Clip it's free and what I'll do at the end of the video is I'll show you where to get it from but it's a free application I'm not going to say it's the best video encoder out there because I haven't tried every one but it's definitely my favourite the one I use probably most often as you can see it's in my dock and it's always in my dock because it's obviously my favourite but also I like to use Redux Encoder this application is very similar to um, Video Monkey, but what reason I like it a little bit more is I find the uh, developer seems to be updating it a lot more. So, as you can see, it you can convert to AVI, MP4, or WMV. But as you can see, it at the top, you've got your iPods and all your iPhones, Apple TV, and that settings where you can convert to. Now you can convert to DVD. So. If you've got an iPod or an iPhone, I think this application is really good. It's no different really to any other vid video encoder. Just drop your file into it, like so. Choose what device it's for or what format you want. So for example, you might want to do it for iPhone. Then just choose the quality, higher the quality, longer it'll take to encode, but better the quality will obviously be. I always find for the like iPods or iPhone, you don't need to go to the best quality, so you probably get away with going for 3G or Wi-Fi. You can choose to add chapters as well, which is great. So if, if it's just one big video for like an hour or two hours, you can tell it to put its own chapters in, which is great. And you've got some more advanced features here if you need to um, tweak it a little bit. Quite, you know, if you decide to download this application, you can obviously look into it in more detail same with the other application I just showed you a minute ago because they've got a few features obviously over 
Video Monkey what I recommended because that was quite a basic application. I think these are a little bit more solider and better. So where do you get them from? Well normally what I get a lot of, most of my application from is the um, Mac update set. You can just do a search for them, so MPEG, stream clip, as you can see it's the number one search, gives a little description, you can download it, obviously this works on Leopard and also on Snow Leopard because that's what I'm on at the minute. As you can see it's a free application, it was last updated in August which is pretty good. And also it's got 38 reviews. For, um, Four and a half stars, so as you can see, it's a pretty decent application. You know, it gets a lot of positive feedback. So that's MPEG Stream Clip. The other one was um, Redux Encoder, I think it was called. If you just do a search again, it'll, it'll, just, comes, it'll just come up straight away. Redux Encoder, last updated on the 5th of October. So that's great when the applications are being updated. It's got four reviews. It's only got three stars, but this is a this is an application which is still in beta, as you can see, here, and it's still being developed. So in its early life, it probably wasn't the most stable application. So it probably got like a few bad reviews. But I think at the moment, the current version, you know, it works really well, and I've not had no major problems with it. So it's definitely worth having. I definitely say if you've got an iPhone or an iPod and you want a good video encoder what's pretty quick this is the one I probably would recommend if you're looking something a bit more options maybe an MPEG stream clip is the one to go for because you can convert to probably more formats and files and you can tweak it maybe a little bit more so I hope this helps you because what you'll find on the Mac, or at least in my opinion, is a lot of video encoders, they use a lot of the same code, and they're not that different, they're not that much different, you know, you might have about 10, 20 different video encoders out there on the web, you might search for them, but a lot of them are very similar, they're not too much different, so, so I definitely say these two are probably the two better ones, the three, and um, I don't really think there's a... Um, and another video encoder out there you would need really. I think these are going to do the job for most people. Obviously for some people they might be looking for something um, a bit different. But these are definitely ones I would recommend. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it helped you give the applications a try if you're looking for a decent video encoder. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching. See you later.